Yo, what's going on, y'all? As you can see, we went to Barnes & Noble today, and uh, it's a pretty special video because Barnes & Noble had this buy one, get one half price sale, um, and that's crazy because throughout the time that I've been a manga collector, I've kind of never taken advantage of this sale. Um, but today, clearly, we went and we took advantage of the sale, so this is basically what I saw throughout the store, and yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Um, for the question of the day, let me know what the best manga, or light novel, or even anime figure that you've gotten on sale, uh, what the biggest discount was um, for me. It was probably the uh, Aniplex Devil Homer, as you guys know, uh, got her for $350 instead of the usual $700, so yeah it was pretty good um but yeah barnes and noble had this buy one get one 50 percent off sale and we had to take advantage of it it's not the craziest deal because like before i've heard they did buy one get one free which is absolutely insane but buy one get one 50 percent off is still pretty good it equals out to like 25 percent off your total order which is you know great um if you buy in bulk it's definitely something to look for um but yeah back to what we saw um this wall had a bunch of volume ones on it um, of different series and as you can see dr stone nana the promised neverland the golden sheep and then i saw two two manga that i recognized uh new game as you guys know is my favorite and insomniacs after school uh correction new game is not my favorite it's one of my favorites but yeah um and this barnes and noble sorry if like the the footage is shaky and stuff but it was pretty hard to record because for some reason there was like a sea of people over here at like a thursday mid thursday like 1 p.m 1 p.m 2 p.m so um yeah if stuff gets a bit shaky it's because you know there are people around and i didn't want to like get in their way so uh yeah but as you can see they had call of the night there um which is a series that i definitely need to read uh, so that i can collect the rest i already do have volume one which i did get from a book off for a discounted rate so um i should definitely get onto that series and speaking of series that i've been reading um i just recently read kono oto tamari if you guys know what that is it's an absolutely phenomenal series um it's a coming of age uh and it revolves around music and a music club and all the uh, members of that club and how they grow throughout their high school journey would highly recommend it if i were to compare it to a manga it's definitely like a uh it's definitely like a blue period but with a uh, with instruments so it's it's really good right right up your alley if you like blue period but yeah um other manga i've been reading i've been trying to catch up to kaguya i know it ended like a couple months ago and yeah i've, I've just been trying to catch up to that i'm rereading uh parts because i forgot uh what it what it was like so uh yeah rereading those parts but back to the manga um over here some black goater they had a bunch of black goater all across the shelf as well as black butler um and then they had some card captor sakura case closed there the case study of vanitas they only had volumes one seven and eight which was pretty strange but it's okay um they had some cat gamer over there cells at work cells at work black they had some railgun here this is the newest volume i believe it's been a while since they've released volumes for railgun because of how infrequently the chapters are released uh, which is unfortunate but it is what it is i'm not the biggest fan of the series as i once was so it doesn't really apply to me um over there was some demon slayer as you saw some fire force here as well and then below it there was some hello world there um it's a movie that i'm kind of interested in seeing i heard it had mixed reviews people said it was just okay um it looks pretty cool though can't deny that so yeah hell's paradise was over there which is also getting a uh, anime adaptation very soon and then i looked at this volume here called Helk, somewhat interesting cover, but we didn't end up picking that up. Um, they had some of the haunted bookstore over there in the corner, if you saw, I didn't spend a lot of time looking at it, but it was worth noting because the cover was pretty cool. The Animal Crossing manga right there, which was pretty funny. Um, Al Haru Ride, I heard people say it's pretty, pretty good, but some people think it's pretty boring. Um, so let me know if I should check that out. They also had Chainsaw Man, a bunch of Chainsaw Man here. Um, if you notice with Barnes and Noble, uh, they usually carry the most popular series uh, with a great variety of it, which, you know, I get because uh, it's probably the thing that's gonna be bought the most, most commonly. So of course they're gonna carry that. Um, they had some Devil is a Part-Timer and Detective is Already Dead there. Um, the Detective is Already Dead was pretty, 
disappointing and they had some dick fight island right there as you can see you know what i'm saying uh fly me to the moon was there as well um and then they had the flowers of evil um i think the art for that series is really interesting it's kind of like creepy and off-putting to me um but i don't know if i should check it out i've heard it's i heard it's good so maybe we'll check it out uh, high school dxd is right there if you know you know and then this whole shelf was just jujitsu kaisen which is not surprising considering you know how popular the series is and at the time of this recording the second season for jujitsu kaisen just got announced for july 6th um and it's going to be a two core se two core season um so that's something to look forward to because i did enjoy jujitsu kaisen a lot i can't deny and i should probably read the manga uh, once this season is over because of how how long the wait will be probably for the next anime season but they had some nagatoro over here which is uh getting a season no it just got a season two i believe it's not getting a season two it just got a season two right there and then you know i thought this title was funny so i checked it out <laughs> uh the dissolving cl classroom is right there uh by jujo ito um and then they also had some fruits basket over there as well there was one manga that i was really looking for um that i was unable to find unfortunately as you know i look at magia record there uh, anything madoka i'll probably take a look at um, but i was trying to find oshi no ko at this store because volume one had just come out and i had binged it over the over like a three day two day period maybe and i enjoyed it a lot so i wanted to add it to the collection but they didn't have any oshi no ko unfortunately even though the website said that this location did but it is what it is um over here was some re-zero some ride your wave there i believe ride your wave got a movie um if i'm not mistaken but i'm probably mistaken because uh i'm i'm really not sure if it got a movie to be honest um they had some rooster fighter there as you can see uh shield hero was next to it uh rooster fighter i heard was like a one punch man but with roosters so um, nah, I don't think I'll read it. I'll definitely read One Punch Man before I read that, but maybe one day we'll read that. Uh, they had some Ruby here uh, next to some Sailor Moon over there, as you can see. Um, I don't know what that manga was, but I had to take a look at it because of the cover. Uh, short, short Cake Cake, I believe that's what it was, is there. Shigimori's Not Just a Cutie was there as well, which was a very disappointing anime I've heard. I only watched the first episode <laughs> because I thought it was like a very awkward anime. I'm sure it's better in manga form because it's a four coma and the comedy will probably like flow a lot better. But as an anime, I wasn't really entertained and not a lot of people were entertained either. At least that's what it seemed like on Twitter. But yeah, Tokyo Revengers is over there. Uh, the omnibus editions. And then we have We Never Learn down here, Weathering With You, and then The Way of the House Husband. Um, Sailor Moon was over here again. They had the big, I guess, omnibus hardcovers and then the singles here. Uh, some Skip Beat, Skip and Loafer, which is getting an anime in this upcoming anime season, I believe. Um, which, you know, I, I heard it's a pretty good romance. Um, I don't know anything about it, but I'll probably check it out. A Silent Voice is over there, Summertime Rendering, which aired... I think last season or the season before was right there. Trinity 7 was here. Um, I really, yeah, I really should get into Trinity 7. Um, it's an etchy manga, but uh, I did enjoy the anime when I watched it before. And, you know, I know some people who enjoyed it. So, yeah, and there's a lot of content. There's like 30, 20 something volumes, maybe 30 if I'm remembering correctly. But yeah, um, that's definitely something to look out for. Um, we had some Whisper Me a Love Song over there which people have called a bloom into you reject but i'll definitely check it out to see like you know if it's worth all the hype and stuff um so yeah sakamoto days was over there as well um people say that it's a great shonen so maybe i'll check it out one day um they had sleepy princess in the demon castle right there uh definitely need to check the anime out or just read the manga for it because it looks very cozy uh sweat and soap was over here as well and then they had some sword art online over on the shelves as well um undead on luck was there um and then they had this this one called the wolf boy is mine which reminded me of my friend toki because he loves wolves so shout out to him if he's you know watching this uh school zone girls was over here um i was very interested in that cover because it looked pretty funny 
um, and then there's Sensei's Pious Lie. No idea what that's about. Seraph of the End, straight ass, because uh, that series is so bad. Um, sorry for my familiar, looked pretty quirky, so I had to look at it. Solo Leveling was here, Volume 6, which I'm very surprised at. Um, that they're all the way at, you know, Volume 6 already, so. Um, I picked this up, that one up. I don't even know what the cover is because it looked like the girl from Umineko. So, um, there was that, but, you know, we didn't end up buying it. Uh, they had Vagabond Volume 6. I've actually never seen that cover before, to be honest. And then Wo Tokoi, the exclusive Barnes & Noble edition. I also do know that um, Kinokuni had their own exclusive edition for the cover as well, so there's that. Uh, down below was some XX Holic and then um, Slime Manga. Um, I'm honestly look, like trying to sell my slime box set that I got at Book Off for like $11, so hopefully I can sell that soon. Um, Soul Eater Omnibuses were there, and then a bunch of Seven Deadly Sins for some reason. I thought that was really weird that out of all the series that they would have like a lot of, it would be Seven Deadly Sins, uh, considering you know its reputation, especially with the anime. I, I I think it's really weird that they had a bunch of omnibuses and a bunch of singles there. But I digress. Um, they also had some Yakuza Reincarnation, Yakuza Lover over there you know of the dawn which got recommended to me in my last video uh so i'll definitely check it out and then toilet bound hanako kun is over here which is one of my favorite series um one of the best arts in anime and some of the best paneling in anime the story is pretty good too um the story is actually very good to me so it's kind of like a you know a good mix of everything uh, shaman king is over there the omnibuses i believe that they took up like two shelves <laughs> Uh, they had a spot on the other side as well, so pretty popular. And then, of course, speaking of popular, we have Spy Classroom. I'm just kidding. We have Spy Family uh, over there, and then Spy Classroom, which, speaking of Spy Classroom, we got to talk about the anime and how bad it was, because that was probably one of the worst things I've ever watched uh, of anything that was hyped up as much as it was. Uh, people said the light novel was amazing, and I get that, you know, anime and light novels aren't exactly the best thing to adapt you know but it shouldn't have been that bad honestly i i was not engaged at all i watched two episodes and decided to drop it so that's what that's everything that needs to be said about it um over here is your lie in april and before that they had some vivi um light novels i believe there in vinland saga next to it um, and then they had some Zom 100 over there. And then moving on, more card capture Sakura, like Omnibus hardcovers, Berserk singles over here, um, some B stars. Uh, it was funny because, like, <laughs> when I was looking over at other shows, there were people at B stars and they were like, yo, it's the furry, the furry manga. So I thought that was pretty funny. And then we have some Blue Period over here, volumes 11 and 12. Um, fun fact, uh, the blue period manga in japan and the blue period one in english are pretty much publishing at the same time which is pretty cool um they're all caught up so you know any future releases the english release will get a very like quick translation instead of having to wait months for it so that should be something to look forward to they had some elfin lied or elfin lead over there the great jahi will not be defeated um, the Great Pretender there as well. Uh, I need to watch The Great Pretender because I heard it's a really good anime. I've said that before, so. Uh, they had The Invaders of the Rokujima over there, if you see me passing by it. Um, Inspector, which had a season two, and I heard nothing about, which I'm very glad because it's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I am not a big fan of Inspector at all. And then over here, we finally got to the Attack on Titan section. Um, the Bake Monogatari section over here with Araragi on the cover, uh, looking absolutely sexy. So there was that um, banana fish over there. Uh, Blue Lock, man, Blue Lock is a big surprise to me because it's very enjoyable, um, especially when I turn my brain off. But it's very enjoyable and it's very fun. I can't deny it. It's a bit edgy, but you know, with the amount they play into that edginess it's it's very entertaining and i'm definitely going to read the manga after this anime ends uh they had some Dandadan Dan over here um and then they had some drifting dragons which i have no idea what that's about dragon quest which i've seen a bunch at kino kunia um i don't know if that's based on like a video game or something sounds familiar uh they had some given there some glide near 
um, they had some Goblin Slayer, some Golden Kamui, which, you know, I heard is a very good manga and a very good anime. Unfortunately, I heard that it all, the anime also got, like, scrapped. So, yeah, there's that. They had some Imaginary there, which I had, you know, heard some things about. I believe it's a romance, but don't quote me on that. Uh, might need to check it out. And then they had some Kaiju number 8 over there. Um, Kakiguri was over here. Um, which I'm not a big fan of. It was one of the first anime I tried watching and was not able to do that. Um, they had some love and lies there. Um, I heard this is not very good, but I do like how the art looks over there as well. And then Love of Kill, uh, you know, caught my eye, and so did Love and Focus. These two caught my eye. Um, they look like pretty good, pretty good manga, so I should definitely check that out in the future, especially Love and Focus. It looked really cute, um, so I really want to check that out. They also had My Dress Up Darling, and then a whole, whole section of My Hero next to it. I just skipped over it, to be honest. Um, Nisekoi was there, Nichi Joe, and then New Game, one of my favorites. We love New Game, so, you know, New Game's phenomenal. I mean, go read it if you haven't. But, you know, Barnes & Noble, the only time I'll really buy from here is if I have a gift card, or if there's a buy one, get one sale, you know, because... I don't know to be honest for me Barnes and Noble it's it's all right but they they don't really have like the series that I want to you know I want to read like a Kino Kuniya has or a right stuff anime has so you know aside from these sales I'll definitely be you know shopping at like a Kino Kuniya or a right stuff anime to be honest but yeah um I hope you guys enjoyed this uh you know manga manga session I guess and yeah I'll go to the outro to let you guys know what I bought. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, y'all, we're back, and I low-key forgot to, uh, uh, you know, record an outro for the video, so we're doing this now. It's like 1 a.m., so please bear with me if I seem very tired. But we were able to get four manga um, for an average price of $11 per manga, which is good. Because most of these manga were like $14 retail, $13 retail, so that's pretty good. So, first off, uh, we're going to show off the two volumes of Blue Period. Uh, volumes 11 and 12, which are the latest volumes. And they've actually caught up with the uh, Japanese release, which is pretty cool. So, we got volumes 11 and 12 of Blue Period right here. And I'm all caught up with Blue Period. Uh, we also have volume 4 of uh, Toilet Mound. Uh, Hanako kun over here uh, they have a box set apparently so we might be getting that in the future but volume 4 pretty cool and then finally we have new game volume 12 um, which I thought I had in English but I only had it in Japanese um, so ended up picking this up because it was something we needed so yeah uh, new game is fully complete and we're all caught up with blue period uh, pretty good haul um, but yeah uh, the Barnes & Noble sale is going on till uh, March 26th so if you're interested in that um, be sure you, you know, head over there before the sale ends so, you know, you get your stuff for 50% off that second manga you buy. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I appreciate y'all coming back to the videos all the time, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.